The following is a paid program. The following is a paid presentation of Mind and Spirit. Welcome to another episode of Mind and Spirit, the show that's sweeping the nation where you have the opportunity to call in for your own tarot reading from our host, Cleo. And now, here she is, Cleo. Hello and welcome to Mind and Spirit. I'm your host, Cleo. What's troubling you? I promise to use my gifts to give you insight and the inner peace you seek. All of my lines into the studio are open, so call the number at the bottom of your screen now so that we can get right to the good stuff, the readings. Caller? Yes? Oh, hello. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing absolutely fabulous, darling. That's can I get your... <laughs> I like you already. Can I get your first name in and your birth date, please? My name is Angela. All right, Angela, what's your birth date? March 8th. All right, and what city are you calling me from, Angela? Calling you from Linwood. Oh, Pennsylvania. All right. Okay, you have a question for me, Angela? I do. All right, go ahead. I have recently divorced. Mm-hmm, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> uh, is there anything wonderful happening? You the know, or is the ex coming back, or am I finding someone better? Aha, uh -huh. look at you. You're too funny. You don't want the ex to come back. No. <laughs> I know this. That's why I told you congratulations. I, <laughs> I don't say that to everybody. Yeah. Um, in the next three months, though, things are going to really change up for you. Oh, there good. seems to be some new money coming into you, all right? And I don't know if there was money of a settlement house or something like that. But in the next two weeks, you should actually have that cash in your hand from the Two of Pentacles. Right. The Three of Cups says that things, you're getting ready to move on and do some really fabulous things. Okay. There's also a new job, isn't there, or a promotion, isn't there, darling? Yes. I see that. The Three of Pentacles is telling me that. I'm liking that, and I'm seeing more money come at the Six of Pentacles. All right. So as far as money is coming, you're set, you're free. Now, what about the move? I don't see that you kept the house. No, I didn't. He is getting the house. And you're moving somewhere nicer once you get this money, aren't you? I'm trying my best to, yes. In about six weeks, it's going to come to pass. It's going to be a much nicer place, all right? I and like so, that. Yeah, I know you do. I know you do. I also want you to cut off some of the mutual friends that you all had together. Okay. Because they're having some dilemmas about, you know, maintaining loyalties. Well, and that's I'm not hard to do. He can have them. Yeah, I, yeah well, I see that. The three of, <laughs> three of Swords says you're like, get out of here. Yes. Um, so I'm... I'm, I'm not so concerned about that. Still, everything legally looks fine. Good. And you do better to get rid of a lot of this excess garbage. Good. I have to take my hat off to you. This was not an easy thing for you. No, it wasn't. And you have been extremely resilient in all of this. And you need to go out once you get this money and go have you a divorce party. Sounds good. All right, sweet Pete. All take right. care you of come yourself. To the party. All right, darling. Thank you. I want to come. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. The power of the tarot awaits you. Cut the deck, unleash the mystery, and have your question answered. Cleo is waiting for your call. Don't wait any longer. Call Cleo for your free tarot reading now. Caller? Yes, hi. Hi, how are you, dear? Good. Good. Can I get your first name only and your birth date, please? Maria. Uh-huh. And it's 9-26-62. All right, Maria. You're a Libra, aren't you, darling? Yes. All right. Been going through some things lately, haven't you? The last couple of years, yeah. The last couple of years, bless your heart. I'm looking at a man who watches over you all the time, Maria. Is there a gentleman in your life? Um... Well, there's been some relationship troubles with my husband. Mm -hmm. Is he a very possessive man? Um, yeah. Yeah, because I see him. He seems to watch over you a great deal, almost to the point of a little bit of jealousy from time to time, doesn't he? Uh -huh. You two are actually not a bad match. You're a very good match. Is your hair kind of an auburn color? Yeah. Okay, I see you here. You're a fat, and you love him to death. <laughs> the Queen of Cups tells me that you love him a great deal, don't you? Yes. He makes you nuts, though, doesn't he? Yes. <laughs> I know. You know, men, I'm not bashing men by no stretch of the imagination, 
but men can, can sometimes, you know, get on our nerves. Also, there's an envelope, the Two of Pentacles, telling me about an envelope coming in the mail with money, having to do with money. Are you waiting for some kind of notification yeah. of, of money? Yeah. It's coming in the next two weeks, Sweet Pea. It's yeah. going to be, oh, you know it's coming in the next two weeks? Yeah. Good, it's there. I'm glad about that. I'm, and I'm seeing you guys falling more in love over the next six months. Your life is really getting ready to come to a place where you've wanted to be in a long time, Maria. Also, a new, um, is there a new job or is there a promotion or a raise in store for you or the husband? Um, actually, um, a new career. Ah, it's going to be very, very profitable. Lots of money coming from that, dear. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, darling. Two of Cups tells me you're still together. Ten of Cups tells me there's still lots of love there. The frustration is indicated by the temperance card here. Who are all of these nosy people? Outside influences I'm seeing around you by the moon card. Yeah, lots of nosy people. Yeah. <laughs> Seem to be putting in their two cents and you didn't ask for a penny, did you? <laughs> yeah. How about his mother? Whose mother is this that I seems that seems to have a great deal to input? It says mother. Aha! Now we're getting down to the good stuff. I'm looking at her. She must be a matriarch. She seems by the Queen of Wands to sit very opinionated, doesn't she? Oh yes, yes. Very much <laughs> so. Her. Because I see that she he's a mama's boy. Oh yeah. My goodness, because she's been a lot of the part of the problem from time to especially over the last five to three years, hasn't she? Yeah. Yep. You guys ever thought about moving away from the family? Uh, actually, he is, is now. He's actually living. <laughs> Good. That's the best thing you could have ever done. Yes. <laughs> All right, darling. Take care of yourself now. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello there, caller. Yes. Can I get your first name and your birth date, please? Uh, Tony. All right, Tony. I'm going to need you to speak up a little bit for me, dear. Tony. All right. And what's your birth date, Tony? Uh, 10 2, 79. All right. And what city are you calling me from? Columbus. All right. In Ohio, right? Yep. All right, Tony, did you have a question for me? Yes. Uh, my question was, I'm getting married next week. Congratulations, baby. Thank you. And I was wondering if, uh, you know, everything was going to work out. And Oh, aren't you precious? Let Miss Cleo take a look. I'm so happy. You know, you put a smile upon my face. I love it. Hold on a second. Let me take a look and see. Thank you. You're just precious. Now, let's see here. Uh-huh. Oh, my. Interesting. Your fiancé is having a fit of a time right now sleeping, isn't she? Uh, yeah, she's having a hard time. Yeah, I'm looking at the Nine of Swords. She's not going to sleep right up to the night of the wedding, all right? I mean, to the d night before. I want you to be a little more sensitive to her. When is her birthday? Uh, her birthday is uh, March 19th. All right, because she's going to get a little... Has she been a little bit crotchety lately, a little bit grumpy? Yes. Okay, she's going to be like that. Don't, don't, just kind of take it easy. I don't want you to take it personally, though, okay? Okay. Because your feelings get hurt up a little bit, don't they? Uh-huh. Yeah. Don't take it personally. Women, are obviously, you just show up, all right? Okay. Just show up. She's a good woman from what I can see. Oh, hold on a second here, Tony. I'm seeing something else here, darling. So, when y'all having your first baby? Oh, uh, we already have one. That's what I'm looking at. And it must be very little. She's uh, 10 months. Ten months, yeah, because she's not even walking yet. I'm looking at her. And if you're not now, is your wife on birth control now? Yes. All right, good. Make sure she's on the pill, isn't she? Yeah. Okay, please write her a note. She's starting to forget, and she's not telling you. You know That's what? She's sitting right here. She wants to say something to you. Okay, have the fiancé, the bride-to-be, get on the phone. Okay. Hello? Hello, darling. How are you? Fine, how are you? I'm doing fine. I want you to really remember the pill, all right? Okay. Because he didn't tell me that that's what you were on, but I'm seeing some forgetting possibly, and I'm seeing a new baby in the next three months. So okay. be very, very careful. You don't want them back to back like that, okay? Because okay. your little girl, she seems to keep you very busy, doesn't she? Yes. All right. Did you have a specific question for me, darling? Oh, I just, I just wanted to talk to you. Um just to find out, you know, if I'm making the right decision with getting married, you know, because we, we only had like a couple months of planning and my parents, you know, really 
are trying their best to like him and they didn't at first. And I want to know if they're just doing this for me or are they doing this because they, you know, want us to get married. Well, you know what? It's not about what your parents want. You understand? Your parents are extremely possessive, aren't they? I mean, and protective as well, correct? Yes. You, and you know this about them. I don't think, I'm looking back over your past, I don't see one boy that you brought home that they like. Correct? Right. Okay. And you know what's really got them upset? Your, your parents are church people, aren't they? Yes. I'm seeing that by the judgment card, all right? And they can be a little bit pious. They're just upset that the marriage didn't take place before the baby came. All right? So they're kind of holding him responsible. But the marriage looks good and the life looks happy. All right, darling? Okay. Take care of yourself. Good luck and congratulations. Okay. Bye-bye. Which layout will I use to answer your question? A Celtic cross, a traditional four-card spread, or a simple cut of the deck? Your answer is a phone call away. Cleo has a special connection with her cards. Put this power to work for you and call for your free reading now. Caller? Yes, hi. Good day to you, darling. Can I please have your first name only and your birth date, please? Janet. All right, Janet, when's your birth date, sweetie? March the 6th. All right, well, you sound awfully wonderful today, Janet. Do you have a question for me? Yes, uh, I've been slightly dating someone's name. I want to give his name, really. No, you don't have to. How about his birth date, though? His... Um, he's a Capricorn. Uh, That'll work. <laughs> All right, so you've been slightly dating him. Uh-huh. And um, he has so many, you know, basic rules because I can't call his house. No, because you know why, right? Why? Because he's not there by himself, honey. He, because he says, it's his, he says it's his mother's best friend, but she doesn't want anyone to call there. But she said his husband, her husband lives there also. I'm not buying it, darling, because that's not what I'm seeing. I know that I'm looking at the Five of Pentacles. I know he wants to move out of that house. Yeah, he tells me that all the time. Yeah, and that, that much is true, but he, it's not his, his mother's best friend. This is his wife or his live-in girlfriend, whichever, the, whichever it may be. And she's a real stinker. I see from the Eight of Swords that she's a very nasty, nasty ill-tempered person. Yeah, so, she has called back to my house and, and cut me out. And I was like, I apologize, you know. But you know what? Why do you think she called back to your house and cussed you out? Well, he told me she had no right to do that because they're not dealing with one another. But see, but he's lying, darling. This is all too clear. And if you sit back and rethink in your mind about what's gone on in the last couple of months, it will make sense to you, too. It's only been like a month and a half. Like yeah, well, almost two months, yeah. Mm -hmm. But think about it. If that was just his mother's friend and they didn't have any dealings, what purpose would she have for her to call and cuss you back with, with that kind of energy? For, for me calling there. Oh, but, I mean, come on, does that make sense, Janet? You're not a stupid woman. Come work with me here. Uh -huh. You know that doesn't make any sense. You know how you just been be alone for so many years? Yeah, I know, you're lonely, That's sweetie, but you know, know what? Who wants to be with company that you cannot trust? Well. You know the old saying, you hear the old people say it all the time, I can do bad by myself. Yeah, and I say it all the time. You understand? Me not need nobody to come in and help me do bad. I'd rather be sleeping by myself and doing bad on my own than to have somebody stinking up my sheets. Yeah, I haven't, and, haven't stunk up my sheets yet. Oops. I haven't slept with them. Well, that's good. Don't do it. Don't do it, all right? It would be a bad move. You deserve better for yourself, sweetie, all right? Okay. Take care of yourself, darling. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye. What picture will the 78 unique tarot cards paint of your life? Ease your mind and uplift your spirit with a call today. Experience a free tarot reading with a true shaman. Call Cleo for your free tarot reading now. Caller? Yes. How are you today? Fine, how are you? Good. Can I have your first name, please? Melissa. All right, Melissa, and your birth date? May 2nd, 71. All right, and what city are you calling me from, Melissa? I'm from Hartford, Connecticut. All right, now. Do you have a question for me, dear? 
Yes, um, just want to know, do you see any um, love interest in my future? Any love interest in your future? Bless your heart. You're a very picky woman, Melissa. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it's not that I don't see the men around you. The line actually forms to the left, mm -hmm. but you don't really want to be receptive to any of them. It's true. All right. Now, interesting enough, there is a gentleman around you that may be approaching you, and he may already be there. There is a married man that's tried to talk to you, isn't there? A married man? Uh-huh. Ah, I don't know if he's married. Maybe he is. I'm looking at a woman sitting right next to him, the queen of pentacles, and he's the king of wands, and he's as married as all get out, so be oh, careful. Oh, wow. Can you describe this person? Huh? <laughs> Oh, do you, do you see, I mean, can you... He's probably, I would wager, he's, old, he's older than you. Okay. He's about in his late 20s, early 30s. Okay. Okay. Um, see, I don't see too much hair on his face. If he does, it's a very thin mustache across here. Okay. Um, seems to have nice, I mean, he's got a nice body. I mean, he's, and he's got a big bit of a tuchus. He's got a bit of some buns. You know, he's not flat there. Am I hitting it on the head? Okay. I think you know who I'm talking about, don't you? <laughs> yes. Okay. He's married, honey. My daughter's father, yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> Did you know that the daughter's father is married? Yes, he is. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> All right, darling. <laughs> so, okay. As you've just blown my hair back because... Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, I don't see any immediate love interest at this point in time because you're still kind of connected to him. Okay. Because you're still waiting for him to proverbially leave his wife, correct? Okay. And he's not. Okay. You know this. Yes, I do. And his wife is not a bad person. So if he's telling you the marriage is in a really bad place, mm -hmm. it's not. It's not. And I'm a little bit concerned, though, because your feelings are getting ready to hurt here from the Three of Swords. Because this secret is getting ready to come to the surface. Are you trying to get child support or something from him? I, I yeah, I am, yes. Okay, that's going to come out. And this is going to happen in the next couple of weeks, according to the High Priestess. Her number is always two. Okay. All right, so be prepared because people are going to be talking. And there is no marriage possible between you and he by the two of wands predicts here. Okay, honey? Okay. So take care of the daughter and make sure that she knows that she's wanted. All right? Definitely. All right, darling. Take care of yourself. Good Thank luck. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Caller? Yes. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm good. Can I have your first name only, please, and your birth date? Natasha. And my birthday is September 1st, 1977. All right, Natasha. And what city are you calling me from? You know, Nevada. All right, nice place there. Tasha, did you have a question for me? Yes, I just made some major changes, and I was wondering if it was the right thing to do. Well, let's take a look here. I'm going to lay the cards out for you. I'm going to cut the deck first. Okay. And let's take a look here, honey. I like your energy. It's very strong, and it's very positive. You only second-guess yourself sometimes. Ah, the changes must have been around some money. The two of pentacles are telling me that, correct? Um, yes. Good. That was a good decision. Um, I, I don't mean to sidetrack your question here, Tasha, but did you lose someone recently, a family member? Was there a death in your family in the last 13 months? Um, yes, there was. Okay, this was someone close to you, wasn't it? It was my grandmother. Your grandmother, all right. And only you weren't closer because you didn't grow up with her, correct? Correct. I'm also sensing from the chariot at this point that there is a gentleman. Is there a gentleman that you made some of these decisions around? Yes. Okay. From what it looks like here initially, they seem to be good. The chariot in this position, when it represents a man, it means triumph. It means much success in excess. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yes. Now, there was, was there supposed to be a move, a residential move, or a move to another place? I just moved here lot this past weekend. All right, and this was around this gentleman, right? Yes. It was a good, and the new environment, you're a bit homesick, aren't you? Yes, I am. The Six of Cups is telling me that. I see that. Who did you not tell that you moved? Um, some friends. All right. That may be the secret that I'm seeing, because I'm seeing that next to the Six of Cups that tells me a new environment. But you know, the Six of Cups also tells me, next to the chariot, 
that this is a positive thing. My concern is there's a friend somewhere that's hurt by the fact that you didn't tell them. So I want you to go back in your mind who that might be. The Three of Swords shows me some hurt feelings. Okay. And you may not have perceived that, but this other person is feeling a bit of betrayal because you didn't tell them. Okay. But honey, this man is faithful to you. You're a little bit frustrated because you haven't found a job yet, but you just got there. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> you know, you can't have everything right away, and the frustration is told to me by the Seven of Pentacles here. But, sweet pea, you should have that job in about ten weeks, and you are going to be making some nice money. Good. The Wheel of Fortune tells me nice, nice money. And don't get crabby. Just be patient. <laughs> okay. Take care of yourself, sweetie. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. Reach out to your inner spirit. Find enlightenment through a free tarot reading. What will Cleo's cards have to tell you? Find out and call for your free tarot reading now. Caller? Mm-hmm. How are you today? Pretty good. Good. Can I get your first name and your birth date, please? Hope, 4, April 27th, 1982. And you said Hope? Mm-hmm. All right, Hope. Can I get the city that you're calling me from? Wildwood. And where is that at, darling? Florida. All right. Did you have a particular question for me, Hope? Um, yes, I have a question about this relationship, what I'm in. Uh-huh. We have two different lifestyles, and I want to know, like, will it last or should I move on? Bless your heart, honey. I'm going to cut the cards and take a look at what... I want to get some confirmation from the cards, but I see several different things around you. Do you have the young man's birth date? No, I don't. No, I don't know it. All right, that's okay. That's all right. I'm just going to take a look and see what's going on. Like I said, I have a pretty good idea. You know what, sweetie? I do see two different lifestyles for the two of you. My concern is I'm seeing too many things going on around him. There's a lot of drugs around this man. There's a lot of drinking around this man. And he, he has to lie in whatever he does on a regular basis, doesn't he? Yes. Yeah. And, I, and, I'm, and he seems to have to be alone he doesn't trust a lot of people because a lot of people can get him into some pretty bad situations, right? Yep. Let me tell you something, Sweet Pea. I want you to distance yourself from him quickly, immediately. The Five of Cups tells me about the drugs. The Five of Pentacles says this man is never resting anywhere that he is. The Hermit tells me that he keeps himself far away from other people. The King of Swords talks about the lying followed by the page of swords which upsets me the reason i'm telling you to distance yourself the police are watching this man and they're going to take him down pretty soon you understand me yes, i don't want you nowhere around him not in his car not in his presence your mother would have a proverbial fit i want you gone from him you understand yes ma'am all right i love you but i know i'm hearing your mother in the back of my head and you know that would break her heart all right? Mm -hmm. You deserve better. And you're a good girl. I mean, you're not no goody two-shoes and you're not a prude, but you don't need that kind of aggravation. And ultimately, honey, it's going to break your heart. The Three of Swords confirms that. All right? Mm -hmm. So take care of yourself, baby. You're a good one. I want to see you succeed. You understand? And before you know it, you'll hear about it in nine weeks. The young man at your date and he'll be in jail. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah. All right, baby? All right. Congratulations. Bye-bye. Bye. Caller? Hello? Hello. Good afternoon. How are you today? Good. How about yourself? I'm doing wonderful. Everybody's so polite. I love it. Darling, give me your first name and only, only your first name and your birth date, please. It's Philip. My birthday is 9-23-80. All right, Philip. Did you have a specific question for me? Yeah, I was just wondering if my uh, girlfriend's cheating on me or not. All right. What's her birthday, Philip? It's 9-11-74. Huh. All right. Let's take a look and see what the cards are going to tell me, darling. Okay. I want to make sure that I'm looking uh, at the right... Uh, well, you seem to be a good guy. I you know what, sweetie? I don't, um, I don't see her cheating. She loves you. You guys are very happy together. But the Ten of Cups shows me a lot of happiness. The sex seems to be fine. I'm looking at the lover's card. Things seem to be active. You're supposed to be going out this weekend or next weekend... The two of you, you're making money. I don't know what you're looking for. The relationship looks strong. I see what the problem is. Is she working somewhere around a bunch of good-looking men? Yeah, she is, Aha! Uh -huh. I see them here. The King of Cups, the Knight of Cups. That's what got your boxers all in a bunch, isn't it? Yes, that's correct. You need to stop being so insecure. This woman loves you, and it's very clear to me. 
all of the cards, I wish I could see relationships as strong as I see yours. But let me tell you something. Take this advice from Miss Cleo. Stop being so insecure with her. You'll run her away. I will. Right? Yes, you will, because she'll get tired of it. Ah, now, interesting enough here. Soon you get married, you should be happy. Oh, my goodness. Let me stop that. Forget the marriage. The baby's going to come before the marriage. The magician card and the baby card, the ace of swords. What kind of birth control is she on? Uh, none at all. Aha! Well, there you have it. Congratulations, Daddy. You should be knowing about a baby within the next 60 days. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. That's what, no. And it's a girl, by the way. It's a girl? It's a girl. Fabulous. I've wanted a girl. Have you wanted a girl? You're going to spoil her up something rotten. Yes, but you I know am. what? And your mother's been waiting for a grandbaby, hasn't she? Yes, she has. I see I, the queen of wands sitting right here. Old. I've told her since I was 12 years old I was going to give her a grandbaby. Right here, the queen of wands, which is your mother, sitting right next to this baby. Right next to the baby. Congratulations, sweetie. Thank Everything you. Everything looks really wonderful. Be a happy man. Take care of yourself. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Your unique tarot reading awaits. Will you make the choice to cut the deck? Don't wait any longer. Satisfy your curiosity and call Cleo for a free reading now. I'm sad to say that's just about all the time we have today. I want to thank all of our callers for sharing their experiences with us. I also want to thank you for spending time with me and allowing me to share my life, my culture, and my sense of spirituality here on Mind and Spirit. But I'm not leaving so fast, you know. I'm going to remain here after the show so you can still have an opportunity to let me ease your mind and lift your spirit. So call me for your free reading, and I'll see the rest of you next time on Mind and Spirit. I'm Cleo. Take care of yourselves, babies. GroupLotto.com is the daily million-dollar-plus lottery that's free. So what would you do with your million-plus? You can get a million-plus from GroupLotto.com, and you can enter for free? Cool. I'm going to Paris with my girlfriend. Then I buy her a horse. She's always wanted one. What would you do with your cash? I'd quit my job and play golf all day. I'd buy a 